Indian women are burdened by the obligations and expectations of the society. The need to cope with the duties of being your daughter, wife and mother, meeting everyone else's needs selflessly. They are raised teaching them not to exist or to exist as little as possible. A woman raised in Indian society has always lived with myths on what to do which is told by the people around her at all the times. But there are some super successful women who broke out from these barriers. Here is one such story of a young girl who fought against all odds to become a physician, Anandi Bai Gopal Rao Joshi. She was the first Indian female doctor. She was the first woman from India to study and graduate with a two-year degree in Western medicine in the United States. In her short and eventful life, she broke many stereotypes. She was a woman who was well ahead of her times. She chose to be literate at a time when it was taboo for a girl to attend school. She was courageous, assertive and ambitious. Fueled by a desire to improve the health care of Indian women, she travelled across the seas to United States to study medicine, becoming an inspiration to all others who came after her. Joshi was born on 31st March 1865 into a Marathi Brahmin family. As was a practice at that time, she was married at the age of 9 to Gopal Rao Joshi, a postal clerk. He was a progressive thinker and unusually for that time supported education for women. At the age of 14, Anandi Bai gave birth to a boy but the child lived only for 10 days due to lack of medical care. This proved to be a turning point in Anandi's life and inspired her to become a physician. After Gopal Rao tried to enroll her in missionary schools and not working out, they finally moved to Calcutta. There she learned to read and speak Sanskrit and English. In the 1800s, it was very unusual for husbands to focus on their wife's education. Gopal Rao was obsessed with the idea of Anandibai's education and wanted her to learn medicine and create her own identity in the world. In 1880, he sent a letter to Royal Wilder, a well-known American missionary, asking for help to admit Dr. Joshi to a medical school and also to find a job for himself. Wilder published the correspondence in Princeton's Missionary Review. Theodicia Carpenter, a rich resident of New Jersey, happened to read it accidentally while waiting to see her dentist. Impressed by both Anandibai's desire to study medicine and Gopal Rao's support for his wife, she wrote to Anandibai. Carpenter and Anandibai developed a close friendship and came to refer to each other as aunt and niece. Carpenter thus helped with Anandibai's stay in the US. In 1883, Gopal Rao decided to send Anandibai alone by herself to America for her medical studies as they could not afford to go together. Though apprehensive, Gopal Rao convinced her to set an example for other women by pursuing higher education. Learning of Anandibai's plans to pursue higher education in the West, Orthodox Indian society censured her very strongly. Her decision came at a high cost. The townsfolk disapproved of an upper caste Brahmin woman crossing the forbidden black waters. People made rude remarks and gestures. They even threw stones. Anandibai addressed the community at Serampore College Hall, explaining her decision to go to America and obtain a medical degree. She discussed the persecution she and her husband had endured. She stressed the need for female doctors in India. Her speech received publicity and financial contributions started pouring in from all over India. For the question, why would an Indian woman go so far away for medical school? Because it was the best way to serve her country. This was the gist of the answer given by Anandibai Joshi in 1883. Back in the 19th century, going to the US for an education must have been a formidable task. 
These days, some elements are easier, and yet the questions persist, namely from pesky neighbors and relatives. Anandi Bai traveled to New York from Calcutta, modern Kolkata, by ship. In New York, Theodosia Carpenter received her in 1883. Anandi Bai wrote to the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia asking to be admitted to their medical program, which was the second women's medical program in the world. In her application letter, Joshi stated her credentials, that she had studied English, arithmetic and history and spoke seven languages. But she knew this might be inadequate for entering college. So she asked them to make an exception and consider her purpose, which was to render to my poor suffering country women the true medical aid they so sadly stand in need of and which they would rather die than accept at the hands of a male physician. She duly gained admission. Anandibai began her medical training at age 19. In America, her health worsened because of the cold weather and unfamiliar diet. Nevertheless, she graduated with an MD in March 1886 with honours. On her graduation, Queen Victoria sent her a congratulatory message. In late 1886, Anandibai returned to India receiving a grand welcome. The princely state of Kolhapur appointed her as a physician in charge of the female ward of the local Albert Edward Hospital. With this offer, she could have written home in triumph, but she was handed a diagnosis, tuberculosis. She contracted the affliction before she left America, which worsened in its frigid winters and unfamiliar diet. A month short of her 22nd birthday, on 26 February 1887, she died in Pune. Carpenter's family, who had taken care of Joshi during her college days, requested Joshi to send his wife's ashes to America. In a cemetery in Poughkeepsie, New York, the inscription summarizes the life of her. It read, Anandibai Joshi, MD, 1865-1887. First Brahmin women to leave India to obtain an education. Despite practicing medicine only for two to three months, she rose to fame for her sheer determination and hard work to become the first Indian female to study Western medicine, becoming an inspiration to all others who came after her. In 1888, American feminist writer Caroline Wells Haley Doll wrote Joshi's biography. Dahl was acquainted with Joshi and admired her greatly. Doordarshan, an Indian public service broadcaster, aired an Hindi series based on her life called Anandi Gopal. Sri Krishna Janardhan Joshi wrote a fictionalized account of her life in his Marathi novel Anandi Gopal, which was adapted into a play. Dr. Anjali Kirtane has written a Marathi book which contains rare photographs of Dr. Anandi by Joshi. The Institute for Research and Documentation in Social Sciences, IRDS, a non-governmental organization from Lucknow, has been awarding the Anadibai Joshi Award for Medicine in honor of her yearly contributions to the cause of advancing medical science in India. The government of Maharashtra has established a fellowship in her name for young women working on women's health. A crater on Venus has been named in her honor. On 31st March 2018, Google honored her with a Google Doodle to mark her 153rd birth anniversary. Anandi Gopal, an Indian biographical film on her life in Marathi, was released in 2019. Today, female medical students outnumber male medical students in India. Female physicians serve in clinics all over India. 
Indeed, Joshi remains an inspiration to Indian women who wish to go abroad, get a higher education and qualify for a career of their choice. She was the first Indian female doctor who destroyed gender norms a century ago. So, let's take pride in being a woman by following our dreams, breaking the social stigmas and leading the life we want successfully without the guilt of being different.